Hey everyone, Chris here from IELTS Advantage. Today we're going to look at the one thing holding you back from changing your scores. And it's just one thing that you can change that will make a huge difference to your IELTS scores. And you need to change your scores. No one else is going to do it for you. You need to start taking action and do some things in order to change your scores. Because if you keep doing the same things as before or you do nothing, your scores aren't going to change. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing today. So this is a very common email thread that we get every single day in our email inbox. So we maybe get 20 or 30 of these a day. And it normally starts off with a student emailing us saying, help me improve, help me improve my writing scores or speaking scores or whatever. And we reply, sure, here's exactly what to do. And we step out exactly what they need to do in order to improve their scores. And they normally reply, nine out of 10 times, I don't want to do that. So we reply, well, what are you going to do then? Why did you even email us in the first place? You know that we can help you. We told you exactly what to do and you don't want to do it. What are you going to do? And they normally say exactly what I did before. So during this email conversation, they will have told us that they used to just look at tips and tricks and they want to do that again. We explain the tips and tricks don't really work at all, that they're going to have to actually, you know, gain a deeper understanding of the English language and the IELTS test, but they want to do this. So not going to work. Or they tell us about their previous teacher who gave them really, really bad advice that's not actually an IELTS teacher, that they're just pretending what to do, but they say, oh, but they're in my local area and they're cheap, so I'll go with them. Not going to work. Or they talk about their previous school. They were in a classroom with 30, 40, 50, 60 other students. The, it was just a lecture. They didn't give them any feedback or personalized advice. But they say, you know, oh, it's a cheap course. I'll just go and do that again. If you do that, you're going to fail. Or they want memorization. So they just want to memorize lists of vocabulary, memorize structures, memorize essays. We explain it's not a memorization test. It's an English test. You're going to have to actually improve your English, but they want the easy way out. So they do that. Or quite commonly, they'll say, I just want to look at some free videos. I did that before or some free books that I find on the internet. That's not going to help you either. Doing the same things that you've been doing over and over and over again is going to result in the same thing happening. I think it was Einstein. I'm not sure if it was Einstein, but he said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. This is exactly what happens with most of the people who are emailing us. They just want the same old tips and tricks and the same old things that they've been doing, but expecting a different result. And when we tell them what to do, they won't do it. But let's look at the data. So we looked at the data from our VIP course. So the course that really does help people. And we looked at how many times students did the test before they joined us. So when people join the course, we ask them for some data and more than half of the students we work with failed the test multiple times before they joined us, failed over and over and over again until they felt that pain of, okay, now I have to actually change something. And it wasn't until they changed this and started doing this one thing that they got on the road to success. So what is that one thing, the one thing that you can change? So before I tell you what that is, let's look at two common things that a lot of people try and do. So many people try and learn a new language and many people try and get fit or try and lose weight or you know, get stronger doing one of those things. Which do you think would be more effective? So to learn a language, do you think it would be better to go to a class twice a week in your local area or you know, download an app on your phone and check it on the bus two or three times a week? Or do you think it would be better to move to that country? So let's say I want to learn Japanese. If I download an app that's going to help me learn Japanese, is that going to be more effective or less effective than moving to Japan for a year? Which one is going to result in me learning that language? Probably the second one. Same if I want to get fit. Joining a gym or joining the army? Which one is going to result in me actually getting fit? 
joining a gym and going for the first few weeks and then losing enthusiasm and then maybe never going or joining the army where you just don't have a choice. You have to work out every single day for multiple hours a day. And what are the differences between this and this? So here and here and here and here. What's one thing? And the one thing that's actually going to result in success is commitment. And this is the thing that most of you who are failing multiple times are actually lacking. But what does commitment mean? Well, I had a look at the Cambridge Online Dictionary and they actually had two definitions. First definition, the fact of being willing to give your time and energy to something. And the second one, something you must do that takes your time and energy. Most of the people who email us, so you guys that are emailing us and saying, will you help me improve your score? And we say, sure, here's exactly what to do, but you must give us your time and you must give us your energy. Those people say, no, I don't want to do that. They want to do something that requires pretty much no time and no energy because they're not actually committed. And until you make that commitment, you are going to fail multiple times, which is actually going to cost you a huge amount of time and a huge amount of money as well. How many times do you have to fail before you actually make that commitment because if you don't change anything as i said at the beginning of the lesson nothing is going to change so if you don't make any changes nothing is going to change so you need to learn what to do you need to practice you need to get feedback all of these things take time and they take money but commitment also the second part of commitment is you must do it you don't have a choice one of the things that we notice a lot with our students is once they've been given like a job offer in London or a, a deadline for when they can immigrate to Canada or something like that, then they make that commitment and do the work and get the score that they need. It's not complicated. It's pretty simple once you think about it and once you start taking action. And it's very self-evident that if you do nothing, you get nothing. If you're looking for all these tips and tricks and hacks and dealing with teachers who are trying to teach you those things, then nothing is going to actually work. So that's the one thing holding you back. If you disagree with me, feel free to tell me. Um, but most of you deep down in your heart know that once you start making that commitment, then you're gonna see massive improvements. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon.